Hi ladies. I've been wanting to send you a video and wasn't sure of what might be meaningful to you, what was halfway clear in my head that I could share with you. And this morning, when I was getting ready to make my coffee, I'm standing here at the sink and I began to look around at our kitchen counter. Those are pictures that I'm working on putting in an album, not album, frames to put on our walls. And I took everything from the front room and brought it out here and it's everywhere. It's on here, it's over on the kitchen counter. And I'm looking around and I'm thinking, progress is messy. And that's when it hit me. I wanted to share with you the story behind all these pictures. I had everything packed away pretty neatly in the front room. And if any of you have been here, you know that room is the last room that we have yet to set up. And everything that I kind of didn't want to deal with, I just put in that room. I kept putting things in that room. But if I'm going to make progress, I had to unpack everything that was away in that room, everything I'd been pushing away. And for me, one of the things that I've come to realize in the last week is that part of unpacking for me is forgiving someone who hurt me badly. And I've been ignoring it. I've been packing away a lot of thoughts, a lot of memories, anger to some degree. And I was doing my Lectio devotion the other day. And in Colossians, it says, God chose you to be the holy people he loves. You must clothe yourselves with tender-hearted mercy, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. And get this one. Make allowance for each other's faults and forgive anyone who offends you. Remember the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. I was like, oh, wow, what's that doing right there in the middle? And I realized, and I'm still working on this one, but that forgiveness is all connected. There's some things in me that are still unsettled because I haven't walked through forgiveness toward this person. So I've spent some, actually two hours this morning, writing out all of the things that were on my mind, unpacking, if you will. So I wanted to ask you, during this time of crazy isolation, what could you spend time unpacking before the Lord? What does he want to clean up for you? What does he want to clean out? Who do you need to forgive? Is it you? Some of, for some of us, we have to go through a process of forgiving ourselves. For others of us, it's forgiving someone else. There is so much freedom, and I don't want this time to go by without getting that freedom that I know the Lord wants for me as well. So I encourage you women, take the time that we have been given to unpack what's in the way of your freedom. Love you all.